sababu ile machine zilikuwa hapa zilikuwa kuku za zamani almost derelict na ndio tulianza kupanga mambo ya modernization ya KCC mimi nafurahi kwamba leo tumetumia kama serikali in the last almost seven, seven years six seven years tumetumia karibu shilingi bilioni mili in the modernization of the facilities of KCC na nimefurahi sana kwamba leo nimepata nafasi ya kufika hapa nilienda eh, katika hiyo mpango tulisema tuta modernize facility hii ya Kiganjo tuta modernize facility ya Nyahururu ya Eldoret ya Sotik ya Nyambene ya Miritini ya Dandora mimi na ya Kitale kuna zile tumekamilisha kama hii kama ya Eldoret kama ya Sotik kama ya Nyahururu kuna zile ambazo ziko katika awamu ya mwisho katika modernization program e, moja yao ikiwa e, nyambene nyingine ikiwa miritini ya kitale na mimi nataka ni shukuru shirika la KCC kwa ile kazi wamefanya na wakulima wengi sasa wako na nafasi ya kuuza maziwa yao mahali ambapo processing inaweza kufanyika tukitumia facilities ya kisasa mimi najua ya kwamba bado tuko na safari katika hii program ya mambo ya maziwa na ndio mkiona katika manifesto yetu tumekubaliana ya kwamba ndani ya miaka mitano tunataka kuongeza maziwa tunayozalisha kama taifa kutoka lita bilioni tano na laki mbili mpaka lita bilioni kumi. that is our plan in the next five years to increase milk production in Kenya from 5.2 billion liters to 10 billion liters Maziwa inatupatia karibu bilioni mbili kila mwaka. In fact, it is among the highest influencers of our incomes as a nation. Maziwa ambayo inafanywa processing, mashiwa maziwa ambayo inauzwa bado haijafanywa processing na tunazidi na kutafuta mbinu na namna ya kuhakikisha kwamba we do more processing of our milk do less sale of raw milk because by doing more processing we add more value and farmers get a better pay for their milk tuko na mpango ambayo itatusaidia kuongeza pesa ambayo itafika kwa mkulima na vile vile kuongeza maziwa tunayozalisha kama taifa We have a plan on how we are going to move our milk production from 5.2 billion liters to 10 billion liters and we are going to implement that plan together with the farmers. The farmers will be front and center of that uh, plan. Na ni vizuri tukubaliane na wakulima vile kazi hiyo tutafanya kwa pamoja. Tumekubaliana kwamba mambo ya mbegu ya ile ngombe tuko nazo tumeweka pesa ya kutosha katika mambo ya eh, 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 mambo ya kuhakikisha kwamba tuko na mbegu and we have put a lot of money in research kagri tumekubaliana na kagri ya kwamba Number one, tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba mbegu zinazopatikana Kenya ni mbegu ambayo itatusaidia kupata ngombe za nyama na ngombe za maziwa. Na tumekubaliana vile vile ya kwamba bei ambayo tunalipisha wakulima wapate mbegu itoke shilingi karibu 
tunataka ikuje shilingi 500 hapo mbili na tumekubaliana na mimi nataka niambie wizara ambayo inahusika to continuously monitor to make sure that we have the right seeds we have the right breed of our cattle because it is a very big influencer of the drive against poverty in our country that is our uh, intervention number 1 Intervention number two is this modernization program. Mambo ya processing, kama tunatumia factory ya zamani, ile efficiency ya kuwakikisha kwamba tuna process milk na pesa nyingi haipotei kwa mambo ya processing, modernization is going to be very important. Mimi nataka ni utangazia wakulima ya kwamba for the next three years, and I'm happy the chair of the budget committee is sitting here, for the next three years, we are going to spend 3 billion shillings in the modernization program of our KCC facilities. Tumekubaliana, tutakamilisha kitali. Tutakamilisha tayari katika budget ama um, supplementary budget tulio pitisha before this main budget. Tulipatia KCC shilingi milioni miasaba so that we can complete the facility in Nyambene. We can complete the facility in Kitale under the new program. Tunataka kukamilisha Kitale. Tunataka kubadilisha Eldoret iwe Eastern Milk. Ambaye inaweza kutumika maramoja. Tunataka kuweka facility ya processing. Hapa Runyenges. Kwa sababu pale Runyenges, bado iko na matatizo. We have a factory, lakini haina vipaa ya kutosha. Tutakamilisha ya Nyambene. Tutakamilisha ya Meritini na tunataka kuweka kiwanda mpya Narok kwa sababu wakulima wa Narok wanaangaika na maziwa yao especially kina mama kwa sababu kina mama wengi na wanjo wanashughulika Kajiado na Narok katika um, uh, mambo ya maziwa so my instructions to KCC uh, waziri is that uh, part of the program in the modernization is to have a plant in Narok because many farmers in Narok are maziwayao in Apotea. So modernization is going to be our other program to make sure that when farmers um, uh, produce milk, as a government, we have a program on how that milk is going to be turned into money and that money should go to the farmers. Namba ya tatu, tuko na mpango ambayo tumefanya ya milk coolers. Matatizo mingi ya wakulima, nilikuwa jana mkuruweni. Wakulima wengi wanaangaika na maziwa barabarani. Kwa sababu ile process ya kufikisha maziwa mahali ambapo inaweza kuanza kushugulikiwa na mambo ya processing, inachukua muda mrefu. Na ikichukua muda mrefu, maziwa ile inashuka quality yake inakuja chini kwa sababu milk is a very perishable uh, product so kusaidia kuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wanapata bei ya sawasawa na quality ya milk ya taifa letu la Kenya ni quality ya juu tumeweka mpango ya milk coolers 650 ambazo tutazileta tuzisambaze katika kila mpango uh, nia yetu ni at least tufikishe kila ward milk cooler ndio tuhakikishe kwamba hasa katika sekta ama sehemu zile tuko na mambo ya maziwa tunazalisha chakula eh, maziwa ya kutosha tuwe na milk coolers ndio tuzitumie kukusanya maziwa ku process ama ku um, store maziwa kufanya chilling ndio mkulima awe na nafasi ya kutosha ya kuhakikisha kwamba maziwa yake inafika mahali ambapo inatakikana na vile vile itatusaidia katika hii mambo ya transport mimi najua wakulima wengi hapa wako na matatizo hata ingawaje tunalipa shilingi hamsini, lakini hamsini haifiki kwa mkulima ile inafika kwa mkulima ni pengine 45 mahali ngine 47 mahali ngine 43 na vitu kama hizo na inapotelea hapo katikati kwa transport na sijui ku manage cooperative na nini na nini hapo 
So tunataka tukubaliane kwa sababu tunataka shilingi ya msini ifike kwa mkulima. So my instructions to KCC is that let us begin to think about how we are going to cut out costs and to cut out brokers and to eliminate unnecessary expenses so that mkulima aweze kupata ile amsini iende kwa mfuko yake hapo tujipange na hawa watu wengine na mimi nataka pia niwaulize cooperatives ambao wanashughulika na hii kazi tafadhali kwa sababu kuna cooperatives wanaweka pesa nyingi kwa hiyo process tunataka tukubaliane na cooperatives ya kwamba mkulima ndio mtu ya muhimu bila ya mkulima maziwa ya mkulima hii mlolongo yote hapa ni bure kwa sababu bila ya mkulima huko nyuma kuzalisha maziwa hii watu yote hapa sijui eh, mtu ya kuuza pesa sijui cooperative iko hapa katikati sijui transporter iko hapa katikati sijui processor hako mahali gani bila ya ule mwenye ana produce hii msururu yote hii ni, ni watu watapotea so for it is in the interest of processors it is in the interest of transporters it is in the interest of cooperatives it is in the interest of the financial institutions and circles that the mkulima is making money if mkulima is not making money all of you will be jobless tuna tunakubaliana jameni watu wa watu wa hapa so tumekubaliana hiyo maneno eh tumekubaliana hiyo maneno ya kwamba hiyo eh, mpango yote lazima kwanza the farmer is king huyo ndio ataamua kama sisi wote tuko kazini ama tumepotea so eh, tunataka tushughulike katika hali hiyo so ile milk coolers ambayo tuna tutasambaza na nimetumana waziri yuko hapa nilituma PS wake huyu aende Poland na tumekubaliana na wizara ya eh, fedha eh, ni mpango wa karibu shilingi bilioni nane ambayo tuko nayo ambayo itatusaidia kwa hiyo plan ya milk coolers my instructions are that before december the milk coolers should be in kenya distributed to all the farmers in all the areas i know it can be done earlier tumekubaliana it is going to start in the next one month lakini before december all of them must be in every part of Kenya na mimi pia nataka niulize wabunge tusaidiane niulize governors tusaidiane kwa sababu sisi tutalete milk coolers nyinyi ndio mtatusaidia tutaweka mahali gani ndio muweze kujenga ile infrastructure kidogo ambayo inahitajika pale so that we can set up uh, the facilities and make sure that uh, the farmers are uh, benefiting so milk coolers is going to be one of our interventions vile vile tumeweka mpango ya fertilizer watu wengi walikuwa hawaelewi hii fertilizer itatusaidia kwa njia gani wale wanaweka sufuria kwa kichwa they don't know eh? na kumangamanga kwa maandamano hawaelewi ya kwamba hii fertilizer tumeteremsha bei iko na uhusiano na bei ya maziwa kwa sababu to reduce the cost of production ni lazima tufanye mambo kadhaa ni nini tunafanya kama serikali wakulima nataka niwaeleze jambo la kwanza tumesema mbolea tunapunguza gharama ya mbolea kwa sababu tunajua mbolea inawasaidia kupanda malisho ya chakula ya ngombe mambo ya silage mambo ya eh, cotton maneno ya soya na mambo ya lusan na hiyo mimea ingine yote ambayo inatumia fertilizer sasa tunataka mtumie hiyo fertilizer kuzalisha chakula zaidi ndio tuweze kuzalisha maziwa yetu kwa bei ya chini ndio ile pesa tunalipwa sehemu kubwa iende kwa profit ya mkulima jambo la pili katika budget yetu hii pia tumetoa ushuru kwa animal feed products zile products ambazo tunatumia kutengeneza animal feed Leo katika baraza letu la mawaziri hapa Sagana tume authorize yellow maize na bidhaa zingine ambazo zinatumika kwa mambo ya uh, animal feed kwamba they can now be imported 
without duty tuhakikisha ya kwamba mbali na kuondoa ushuru ya VAT pia tumeondoa ushuru ya duty ndio tuhakikisha ya kwamba animal feed chakula ya mifugo yetu inafika kwa mkulima kwa bei ya chini na mimi nataka niulize wale wanatengeneza animal feed kwa sababu sisi tunaondoa ushuru kama serikali lakini hawa wanaotengeneza hiyo animal feed wanakuja kuchukua hiyo ushuru wanafanya inakuwa profit yao mkulima anaendelea kununua eh, chakula ya ngombe kwa ile bei ya jana so i want the ministry to monitor we must transfer the benefits of the tax exemptions not to the manufacturers of animal feed but to the farmers hatujatoa ushuru ati ndio mtu ya kutengeneza chakula hapo kwa factory atengeneze pesa nyingi our plan is to benefit the farmer and we must see as government and the ministry must monitor, must monitor to make sure that the interventions that we are making uh, when we forego uh, taxes it must be for the benefit of the farmer not for the benefit of the processors of animal feed somewhere in the middle tunaelewana jameni so uh, nyinyi kama wakulima pia mtatupatia habari mkiona hii chakula haijabadilika bei na tumeondoa ushuru tumeondoa duty tumeondoa VAT mtueleze ndio tukabiliane na wale ambao wako huko katikati tuwaambie pesa ambayo tuna uh, we are for going as a government is not for them it is for our farmers vile vile tumekubaliana ya kwamba ili wakulima pia waweze kupata namna ya kupanua kununua ngombe zaidi mambo ya seasonal crop uh, program kama mnapanda soya kama mnapanda mahindi kama mnapanda chakula ya ngombe vile vile tumeweka shilingi bilioni kumi credit kwa agricultural finance corporation nilitangaza juzi waziri anashughulika wakulima wengi wanaelewa na wako na uhusiano na agricultural finance corporation tumeweka pale pesa na tumesema the interest must not exceed 8% we want to have it in single digit tumegombana na hao bado wanaongea ongea kiingereza lakini tuwafundisha Kiswahili <laughs> eh, si ndio eh, ndio lugha ya kueleweka na wananchi wengi so tutashughulika na hawa tuhakikishe ya kwamba access to credit is a critical component of making sure that we reduce the cost of production kwa sababu tunataka on one side to improve prices pia huku chini tuna lower the cost of production so that we can have more benefit to our farmers vile vile mimi nataka ni upongeze wakulima wakulima wetu na product ambayo mnazalisha is of such a quality that we have access to the american market najua kule marekani ni watu ambao wako wanachunguza mambo mengi phytosanitary hii sijui nini ile quality hii quality ile but i i can proudly say that our products meet the highest standards of quality anywhere in the world na kwa sababu hiyo sasa nimeweka mpango kamili ya kupanga soko ya mazao yetu ama products yetu ya maziwa ama kilimo ya maziwa ili gi yetu bata na um, uh, uh, powder milk pamoja na long life milk tuweze kupanua ile soko kubwa iko katika bara letu la Afrika kwa sababu nchi nyingi sitaki kusema majina niliingia kwa matatizo kidogo nilisema majina ya, kam- ya nchi zingine nikapata taabu kidogo <laughs> tuko na soko kubwa katika bara letu la Afrika ya maziwa na hiyo soko lazima tufanye juu chini mpaka tuhakikishe hiyo soko ina benefit wakulima wetu hatuwezi kukubali ati maziwa inatoka New Zealand kilomita karibu 10000 na sisi tuko hapa kilomita 200 na tunaweza kufikisha mazao yetu pale na wakulima are producing uh, the milk mimi nataka niwaambie pia wakulima wa, wa taifa letu la Kenya wasikue na wasiwasi 
hata tukipata maziwa zaidi ya vile tunaweza eh, kupata soko ya Kenya hapa tuko na facilities ya kutosha ya kutengeneza powder milk ya kutengeneza long life milk hii kiganjo hapa sasa tuko na uwezo ya mambo ya powder milk tuko na eh, kutengeneza powder milk katika factory yetu ya Eldoret and which other factory the powder milk and Kitale so we have three facilities that we can use to make sure that excess milk we can mop out from the market na ndio bei ya maziwa isirudi chini mkulima awe anaweza ku predict ya kwamba akizalisha maziwa maziwa yake itanunuliwa na hataenda kwa asara kwa sababu saa zingine mkulima akiuza maziwa shilingi elfu, eh, shilingi 30 shilingi 20 mkulima anakuwa ana, ana discouraged Tuna, tunaenda kwa asara that is our other intervention to make sure that we create market na nimekubali ya kwamba soko ya nchi yetu pia katika ile program yetu ya school feeding program ambayo mwaka huu tumeongeza kutoka wa, wanafunzi kidogo zaidi ya milioni moja. sasa tumesema kuanzia mwaka huu watoto wetu milioni ine watakuwa wanapata mambo ya school feeding shuleni na sasa nimekubaliana na chairman bwana Maina ambaye alisema tuingize program ya maziwa katika hiyo mpango ya school feeding i agree with you and i will communicate to the ministry of education so that milk can be part of the package for our school feeding uh, program ndio tuweze kupanua soko ya wakulima wetu wa maziwa nataka vile vile ni wahakikishie tukiwa tunatafuta soko ya kitaifa na tunatafuta soko ya kimataifa pia tutahakikisha ya kwamba watu ambao wanatafuta kutengeneza pesa ya haraka kwenda kutuletea sijui poda milk kutoka sijui nchi gani alafu wanaingiza ukora huko ndani wanalete hapa tunaenda hasara wanakuja wana compete na maziwa ya wakulima wetu hiyo mlango tutafunga chairman wa dairy board na watu wa dairy board nyinyi watu tuko hapa na board ya dairy board simameni watu ya dairy board uh, simameni the dairy board people one of the directors wale directors wengine hawako waambie tafadhali <laughs> tusikosane you know kazi ya dairy board ni kuchunga haki ya mkulima sio kuchunga haki ya processors that is not their business their business is to make sure that our farmers are not undermined our local production is not undermined hiyo poda tunaona inatolewa kwa nchi zingine kupitia milango na madirisha ya nyuma hiyo madirisha yote ifungwe na hiyo milango yote ifungwe ndio wakulima hawa wapate nafuu tuweze kuendelea for the last couple of years you can see it for the last couple of years watu wamekuwa wakilete powder milk hapa karibu lita milioni moja kila mwaka na ndio tunapata hasara wakulima wana, wanaingia kwa matatizo watu wananunua maziwa kidogo ya mkulima alafu wanaweka boda three quarters na kutumia leseni ya kusema ya kwamba wanafanya mambo ya maziwa so we will increase our own capacity katika hii modernization program yetu tunataka kuongeza, kuongeza fast, uh, capacity ya KCC from 380,000 uh, liters to 800,000 liters na ndio tuanze kushughulikia soko yetu ya Kenya na soko ya kimataifa wakulima tunaelewana sasa nyinyi wakulima mko na kazi yenu nataka munisikize kwa makini mimi nitafanya hii ingine si mnaona hii mnajua mmesikia ile mimi nafanya nafukuzana na wakora nataka mnafanya modernization na watafutia milkulas na watafutia pesa ya kuendesha hiyo biashara yenu ndio hiyo mimi na ngangana na mambo ya fertilizer na nyinyi pia nataka munihakikishie ya kwamba mtaongeza mazao yetu ya maziwa katika taifa letu la Kenya si tuna si tunagabana kazi kila mtu afanye ile 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 na ile ile yako na ujuzi ya kufanya sasa mimi nitashughulika upande hii na nyinyi mtashughulika upande huo tunaelewana jameni so we are going to work together 
we will continuously refine we will continuously refine um, the workings around this uh, sector kwa sababu ni sekta ya muhimu inatupatia ajira inatupatia utajiri na inawezesha watu wengi watu ambao wako katika hii sekta ni zaidi ya watu milioni tatu. pesa ambayo tunapata kwa hii sekta wa kulima ni karibu shilingi bilioni mbili kila mwaka hiyo ni pesa nyingi na ni sehemu ambayo ni ya muhimu katika uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya waziri ananiambia ya kwamba mambo mumekuwa mkituuliza mnataka ile um, eh, eh, sext um, semen kwa sababu unajua mkulima wa maziwa akipata eh, ndama ya ndume ni hasara kubwa sana si ndio wewe unatafuta ngombe ambaye atakuzalia ngombe ya kumkamua kesho ukipata ndume unapata hasara so tumeweka mpango ya sex milk ndio ngombe yako eh, sex eh, semen ndio ngombe yako akizaa anazaa mwenye atakupatia maziwa two years down the road so um, tunajua bei yake imekuwa how much has been the price eh, of sex eh, semen from eh, imekuwa bei ya karibu shilingi 6500 mpaka 8000 Nimeambia waziri tulete kwanza mpaka 1300 hapo tupange na hapo. Let us cut it down by half. Tuanze hapo. Nyinyi mtajipanga na hapo? Alafu mkiendelea endelea na muongee maneno yenu nikiona mnajipanga vizuri nitaona vile nitafanya. Si ndio? Si tumekubaliana tunagawana hii kazi. So mimi nataka niseme hivyo na nishukuru ya kwamba tuko na wabunge wetu ndio watusaidie kusukuma maneno kule bunge kwa sababu unajua tuko na watu wengi sijui ni kwa kutojua ama sijui ni kwa mpango ya eh, mabrokas wanapinga mambo imagine ati hii maneno tumesema hapa ya coolers ya maziwa ya, ya wakulima ya kuweka pesa AFC ya kupanga mambo ya fertilizer ya kupanga mambo ya feed tumeondoa ushuru kwa feed ati kuna mtu anapinga si watu ni wazimu ama namna gani unapinga nini alafu unaenda unatufanyia maandamano unaharibu mali mali ya watu hiyo mchezo tumesema hatutaki ama namna gani wakulima si ndio tunataka tushirikiane tupange vile Kenya itapiga hatua ya kwenda mbele tujenge mali tujenge utajiri tuondoe umaskini na hii ndio barabara kila mtu achangie sehemu ambayo anaweza eh bwana chairman wa budget umesikia ile maneno nimesema Eh? Sawa. Eh, usikose. So enda ujipange na hapo. Na leader wa majority anasikia hapo. <laughs> yeah? So tutashirikiana namna hiyo tupange hiyo budget tuhakikishe kwamba wakulima wetu wanashughulikiwa na mimi nataka ni wahakikishie hii Kenya tutaibadilisha. Na tutaibadilisha kwa mpango kama hii na bidii ya wakulima na mpango ya serikali ya kuhakikisha kwamba we are synergized. We are working together towards the same goal tusaidie wakulima ndio wakulima wajenge uchumi wetu wa Kenya na mimi nawataka niwapongeze wakulima wangamia eh, wafugaji wangamia leo hapa tumeanzisha sasa kuna coordination maziwa ya ngamia ambayo imekuwa ikipotea potea huko katikati na watu wengi by the way wanatafuta hii maziwa ya ngamia So wakulima wa wafugaji bwana Guyo na jeshi yako ya kutoka ya kwenda mpaka Northern Kenya huko jipange na hiyo milk coolers eh, waziri mupange pia hawa watu wa ngamia wapate hiyo milk coolers ndio tulete maziwa ya ngamia tuweze pia eh, kutumia kuendesha uchumi wa taifa letu la Kenya wakulima mimi nimefurahi sana kuwa kati yenu na Um, nataka ni wahakikishie ya kwamba tutafanya bidii kwa sababu hii ni sekta ya muhimu mkisoma katika manifesto yetu tumesema ya kwamba sekta rahisi sana kubadilisha na kuboresha na kutusaidia kuongeza mapato ni sekta hii ya dairy dairy is one of our quickest intervention na kuna maneno nitaongea na waziri 
eh, kuhusu mambo ya breeds zaidi ndio tuweze kuendesha hii kazi na mimi nataka niwashukuru even the other processors i was in meru nilikuwa meru juzi kwa ile kampuni inaitwa eh? meru central wanafanya kazi mzuri sana wanasaidia wakulima na wanawalipa wakulima on time na wanashughulika na hiyo kazi nilikuwa pia fresher kule kule, kule kithunguri. they are doing a wonderful job na mimi nataka niwaambie tutash, tutasaidiana na hizo kampuni zote tuhakikisha kwamba wakulima wetu wote wanashughulikiwa kwa sababu ni ya muhimu katika kujenga uchumi thabiti wa taifa letu la Kenya and this is how we are going to grow our nation this is how we are going to build uh, uh, our nation and we are going to make Kenya uh, grow so wakulima mimi nataka niwashukuru sana pongezi kwa ile bidii mnafanya shambani mimi na wa, na wa, na, wa, na wa enzi sana na nawashukuru kwa sababu mnatusaidia kupanga mambo kule mashinani na sisi tutawashikilia mimi nataka niwaulize let us all of us diversify mjue ya kwamba you can grow many other products and we are going to make sure that extension programs between us and the counties pia we want to digitize tunataka pia tuweke kwa mtandao kwamba mkulima anaweza kutumia simu yake kuona ni nini atafanya ndio maziwa yake iongezeke anahitaji kutumia nini anahitaji kutumia nini aongeze wapi apange nini ndio tuweze eh, kusukumana sote katika barabara hiyo but we are going to work uh, together with all the leaders and work together with all the counties to make sure that this program succeeds sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nimefurahi sana asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya Mungu na nitakuja hivi karibuni pale Nyahururu tukuje tufungue hiyo eh, nini na tutaenda Dandora tutaenda Miritini i have already issued uh, instructions on what we need to do bwana Kilemi wewe ndio eh, mtu ya cooperatives na waziri wako pangeni hiyo kazi na waziri wa kilimo pia yuko hapo mtashirikiana Asanteni sana. Mnafanya kazi mzuri lakini mukaze kamba. Si <laughs> So asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Thank you.